What's going on everybody? Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. This is the end of the day, December 9th, 2021. Guys, I had a little bit of a quiet day. I worked on the 555 timer project and I finally got the one video up there. It should be processed and ready to go for the introduction part of that. Now, don't get overwhelmed if you look at that video and don't understand it because the next lessons coming after that, which I'm actually going to have up there pretty quick, uh, now that I got the ball rolling pretty good on that, uh, they'll be up there and we're going to go through building different circuits one at a time. So that's going to be fun stuff. Be sure to check it out. Today was pretty quiet. Uh, I had a TCM on a 2013 Chevy Express gravy train, no problems there. Next up, we had a 2008 Chevy Express that had a P0452. Now, I checked this with a generic scan tool because sometimes I just like to mess around with the generic scanner and see what's going on. You can see we got the, the code here. Um, in generic information, I couldn't get the fuel tank pressure sensor voltage, um, but as you see here, we had this inches of H2O, uh, 8.5 inches of H2O. So I plugged into Tech2 uh, to read the code, to make sure we had the same code, and then I went into the data stream to check on up what was going on here. Now, I'll tell you, if I could go back and do this diagnostic again, I could have done it faster. Um, I really, um, the vehicle was up in the air. Uh, it was on a lift, a hard, hard to open a door. I got all kinds of excuses, right? But here's what it comes down to. If I would have left the scan tool plugged in and watched the voltage as I was horsed around with the wires, I probably would have found the problem a little bit quicker. Um, but I ended up, because this tank was up and I couldn't access it, I ended up probing into the gray wire, making sure I had my 5 volt reference at this easy to access point. And I also checked on the green wire, which is a signal wire here, to make sure, it, see what the voltage was. And I had zero volts on this green wire, or maybe it was like 30 millivolts. And I should be expecting around a volt or so, uh, give or take. And we didn't have it. So I started trying to uh, access the fuel tank. Um, real hard to get to, but I ended up pushing and pulling on that wire and I could get 1.5 volts to show up on that green circuit. So I knew our problem was between those two points uh, on the vehicle. At that point, we dropped the tank a little bit and I was able to find out that we had some very spread terminals for our fuel tank pressure sensor. The shop is going to go ahead and uh, replace that pigtail and get that thing rolling. Now, I got to tell you, I got a new piece of test equipment. Check this out. Well, as you see here, I got my auto signal simulation tool. So I'm excited to see what this is about here. I really uh, been wanting this tool for quite some time. And I finally uh, broke down and got it because I've been doing a lot of training and uh, teaching different classes where I really can use some more, um, I guess, uh, ways of demonstrating what's going on with vehicles. So looks like we got a bunch of test leads here. Throw it up there instructions we'll see how good the uh, Chinese to English is and then uh, power cord and here is the unit let's take a look here looks like it was pretty well packed lots of styrofoam all around it and there you go a little bit of saran wrap action going on here there you have it this is what uh, my new Tool is like this tool will output uh, crank sensor camshaft signal into a computer and then we can test the output of the injectors and coils and all kinds of stuff so this is good stuff been waiting for this a long time guys that was my day I hope you're all doing well have a great evening bye bye